Can we please have quiet on the set? Back with another video, and this is going to be a different type of video than you guys are used to from me on this channel. So, I was originally just going to tell a story today, but it's, I thought, why not just spice it up? Why instead of telling it, instead of just telling a story, why don't I have gameplay over my story so it's not just me talking to the camera and it's a little bit more entertaining for you guys. And I could do this more in the future, just tell me what games you guys want me to play. Not Fortnite though, because I concentrate too much whenever I play Fortnite to do this. Like Call of Duty, whatever you guys want. But my story today. So if you guys know, or you guys might not know, I'm from Pittsburgh, I'm a pirate fan. I don't know why I torture myself like that, but I do. And earlier this season, we went to a game. It was like opening week or something like that. And th they have this big clubhouse store at um, PNC Park. And the gates were getting ready to open, but they didn't open for like 20 minutes. I don't know why I said they were getting ready to open, but pretty much... You, they let you go into the store from the outside of the park, but then they have to kick you out of there um, be, right before the gates open because they don't want you sneaking in and all that stuff. So, since the gates were getting ready to open, they were getting ready to kick everyone out, and I was one of the only people in there. And if you guys know, the Pirates have this player called Trevor Williams. He's not really an all-star, so he's not really that known around the league, but Pirate fans know him because he has Project 24 and all that stuff. And his dad is very active with the Pirates and everything because his dad goes games that he pitches. His dad is there a lot. Recently, whenever Trevor Williams pitched against the Padres, they're from San Diego, so his dad was there at that game and watched him pitch. Sadly, he didn't get pick up the win that day, but his dad was there, watched him pitch. So, basically where I'm getting at is, I was there, downstairs, and there's a downstairs and upstairs, and you enter downstairs. Then I walked upstairs because I look downstairs you know same stuff blah 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 and then i walk upstairs and to my surprise i see employees talking to trevor williams dad and his dad had a william shirt on obviously and he was holding a blank pi a pirate shirt with no name or number on the back just blank pirate shirt why i don't know so i saw him there and then at first i didn't know if that was actually him and then i was just looking over there a little bit not making it too obvious you know so i was just looking and then I looked away for a little bit because I was like, no, that can't be him. He would be inside by now, probably in the clubhouse, blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, actually, that could be him. Then I started to look again. I don't know if he gets recognized a lot, but hey, I recognized him. But the thing is, though, don't worry. The story gets way more intense or whatever you want to call it. So I saw him, and then I didn't know if he wanted to be bothered or not, because he was talking to employees, you know, I didn't know if it was important, I didn't really hear what he was saying, well, I heard a little, but the employee said to him something about, um, is Trevor on the mound today, and then his dad said, yeah, blah, 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 and then he was like, then the employee was like, oh, that's cool, so you're here to see him pitch? And then his dad was like, oh, I'm always here. It was kind of funny. And then basically, I finally was pretty sure that that was him. So I was just looking a little, I don't know why I keep looking at 
a lot, but I was just looking a little bit more. And then I see, like his head was looking down at the um, blank jersey that I was telling you about. And then all I see is his head from here up, eye contact with me as I was looking at him. And I was like, oh yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> so then basically I just walked downstairs. I like, quote unquote, ran away. I, I got shook. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, all I see is him just... It was... I don't know. So that's basically the story, pretty much. But I don't know how short this video is gonna be. I'm gonna try to, like, cut it up and stuff, probably. So, I wanna make it a little bit longer. So, the NBA. We're talking about this for a little bit. Because I have 2K in the background right now. And as you see, I'm versing the Lakers with my Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, deep three. Jimmy? Nope. And LeBron. Lance Stevenson. That, I, wanna, I don't know how that's going to work out. Rondo. McGee. All to the Lakers. But there's one name that Lakers th fans thought that they were going to get. But the Warriors got him. The Warriors of all teams got DeMarcus Cousins. 5.3 million. 5.3 million deal for DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, okay. They just hit the jackpot there. They got, if you think about it, they got DeMarcus Cousins for the same amount as JaVale McGee. Think about that. Different players on two different levels. They got... Is ruined. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I am not watching NBA playoff basketball. The only people that are probably going to watch NBA playoff basketball are Laker fans, because you know, I haven't seen them in a while, and they're going to make it because they got Brown Brown. Or Warrior fans. Maybe Rocket fans. And whatever team from the East gets lucky and makes it to the finals until they realize that they're going to get swept by the Warriors. So that's basically the only people who's going to watch NBA playoff basketball and actually enjoy it. So, you know. My story wasn't really that entertaining, but I have some other stories. Like, tell me if you guys like the idea of these stories. Like, I met a fan before. I'm not kidding. I know you guys are probably like, uh, oh, you only have 1.2k? How do you meet a fan? But trust me, I met a fan. Not lying. At all. Promise. Would I lie to you? Think about it. Would I lie to you? And my video that I was originally gonna make today got ruined because it decided to rain. You guys will, I'm not gonna spoil what that is, but you guys will see soon. Just know, it, it involves outside obviously, because if it rained, why else? What I care if it rained if it wasn't outside, but basically, I'm wrapping this video up, you know. Always the sad part is it's the saddest part of the video, always wrapping the video up. So, yeah, guys, that's been it, and peace. I might be too strong out on compliments Overdose on confidence Started not to give a fuck and stop fearing the consequence Drinking every night because we drink to my accomplishments